Hey family, it's being willing to come back to another video. Check it out the garden and uh, the food for thought I got today, guys. Is uh, I'm perplexed by it because I'm I, I'm I'm wondering is it real? But I know it is because I'm looking right at it right now. And what I'm talking about, guys, is this new show on the Tell a Lie Vision on Comedy Central called The New Negroes. What? If you looked at my videos, uh, I had a video about a week or so ago, guys, when I talked about the discrepancies with our identification in the dictionary itself. You look up Negroes, Black, African, African American, Colored, how we all of them, and why are we identifying with that shit? I'm telling you right now, fellas and young ladies and the elders like myself, this is ridiculous. And the fact that there's no outrage. Back in the day, guys, we had something called Deaf Comedy Jam. You know, Martin Lawrence used to, uh, uh, you know, host it, and, and it gave it was a uh, outlet for up and coming, you know, melanated uh, comedians. Deaf Comedy Jam. It was Russell Simmons' uh, joint, and we go from Deaf Comedy Jam because. The name itself implies that it's, you know, Afrocentric, that it's going to be, you know, Afro-melanated cats doing comedy. Deaf Comedy Jam. Deaf Jam was a, a rap label. Well, we don't went from then to 2019 where the new Comedy Central uh, comedian show is called The New Negroes? Not feeling it. No, not feeling it. Because, and this kind of stuff... You know, it's something that if if you stay desensitized to it, then the next show going to be, you know, Last Night Niggas. Or it's going to be a show with niggas. I mean, you might well have Django Unchained Part 2 on. Because this is, to me, is ridiculous. Now, I don't understand, okay, where all these Afrocentric, Pan-Africanism, Conscious community, Hebrew Israelites, all these different sectors of our Afro melanated community. Why no one have a problem with this show? Why aren't nobody trying to boycott this show? The New Negroes. Wow. If you think I'm joking, listen to this. What's the purpose of starting a show called The New Negroes? Well, it was to create a space for people to exchange ideas, go to church in a certain way. I like church. <laughs> huh. So they started to show the new Negroes to give them a different avenue to exchange ideas, you know, to go to church, so to speak. Church? You dig? So the stereotypes persist. <laughs> wow. And like I say, you know what? Uh, RuPaul has its new drag queen show on coming out. Huh? Okay. Uh, love and hip hop. Okay. But Dr. Joy DeGruy, Dr. Amos Wilson, Dr. Uh, Francis Cress Wellesley, Dr. Ben Jockinen, uh, Dr. John Henry Clark, they get no airplay. Okay. Because what they t teach and preach is empowerment and having some pride in who we are. Like, I mean, and, and I got flat for the video I made about the principal and they sound much respect due for making sure the standards set at her school was standards that are set at a higher professional level. And I had a, I had somebody comment talking about, well, being I disagree with you because what if she couldn't, you know, if they dictate how we can take our kids to school, what else they going to dictate? Come on, really? You got a show called The New Negro Zone. Do you have a problem with that? Okay, uh, let me continue. What, let's listen to this. I do the rap stuff, Beverly's a stand up, but don't try to brand us or put us in handcuffs for fans up. Josie got some music too, it feels new, but it's not confusing. New Negro, some people are scared of a word that was seen, they was not aware of. We heard you believe what the media gets told you. Them old ideas get blown up. Behold, a new Negro. This <laughs> New Negroes. I guess I'm the old Negroes, huh? Or 
since these are new comedians, are they referring to Bernie Mac and Richard Pryor and, and Eddie Murphy and all are those the old Negroes? Who think that who signed off on this? And where's the madness? Oh, no madness because we still have an organization called NAACP. We still have an organization called Urban League. We still have an organization called UNICEF, United Negro College Fund. And then, of course, you have Al Sharpton and all the rest of the FBI informants. It's no wonder why people look at us like that. How can you nation build when you got guys, okay, trying to tear us down? Wow. The New Negroes. <laughs> all right, friend, I had to come back with this. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Don't watch that crap. And if you do... Uh, Critique it, come back, leave the old man a comment, and let me know what you think about it. I can't give him my time, but I can give you guys my time. And in the meantime, in between time, in the most high anxiety, bring you joy and being with his out of 5,000. Much love, Lady B.